So here's another item that was purchased in Hong Kong, which is uh, the Comme des Garçons t-shirt that my mom had purchased of the Bear Brick. So this is what that t-shirt is, and um, it's crazy. I feel like I should wear like something else over it, but it's like this big overprint of like the Bear Brick um, toy. And then you have Play back here. See that? So that's also from Hong Kong. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it on yet. I'm not sure if it fit. It's definitely, um, you know, a favorite of mine. So that's that. Now moving on to all these crazy things here. I bought these two versions of the Japanese magazines in Hong Kong. And I've been so busy I haven't even had the chance to read it. Um, I haven't even opened it yet, but I am quite excited for the bag, the free bag that comes with it, which is the Stussy tote bag, but it's the shoulder tote, and it's slightly wider than the classic totes, and it comes with a, like a strap, a side strap as well. So I'm very, very excited about that. One of uh, the reasons, the many reasons why I bought this uh, 30th anniversary Stussy Japanese magazine out in Hong Kong. I really need to crack this open and read it. I gotta catch up. This also, this Bape book and the free tote that comes along with the magazine right here. Um, it looks pretty heavy duty. I'm looking forward to using it in the, the summer that's about to come, if it ever does come. Oh, here's the lookbook actually for Urban Stranger that I had picked up over there. One side is female and the other side is male. So it's like a slide lookbook. I think that's the female side. But it slides out as like these all these cards. Um, and some of the stuff that they feature is pretty awesome. I feel like it's more Japanese-esque than it is New York, like they said themselves. See, they say Urban Stranger Art and Creative Division New York. I've never seen them in New York ever in my life. I don't think you can really see that, but right there, New York. You know, it's like I've never seen this thing ever in my whole entire life. Um, so this is their visual book, and this is the look that they tend to feature. Something like that, something like that, like an urban preppy, something like that. See, or even like this, and I felt their lookbook was pretty awesome. You know, just the way that it's done and everything, like a slide card um, palette. So like that, and then they feature the drop crotch pants, which I didn't see when I was in Hong Kong. Otherwise, I would have picked it up too. Um, these things are getting big, these drop crotches. Um, it does take some time to get used to wearing it. For a while, G-Star has been offering these jeans. Um, I actually have a pair. I have two pairs. They're very hard to maneuver when you're in them, but they do look a certain way. It's very unique, very different. Yeah, but it's a, it's a matter of taste if you're able to have the confidence to pull it off or whatnot. So here it is. And that's that, and then it's the woman's side. So that's going to take another 15 minutes of me trying to get through. <laughs> I was in Taiwan, and Taiwan had this. If you saw in my Asia um, episodes, you see that I had a section where I was um, filming at iDarts. It's this play called iDarts in Taiwan. It's a bar, lounge. Um, that's very, you know, like modern inside and they feature all these like Japanese made dart, digital dart machines. So the whole theme is of the bar and the lounge is wrapped around the whole concept of, you know, darting. And when you're there, the owners and everything and the employees are very uh, proactive in trying to get you to play. You know, they sign you up for a free membership and they start, you know, the first two games are free. They, they buy it. It's on the house. And then you and your friends are having a couple of drinks and you enjoy your time just throwing darts. Like they teach you how to play. Um, um, you know, for fun, and every round, like, if you beat a certain score, there's an incentive, like, you win a free round of drinks, or, like, a free round of this and that, and, like, you know, any anything that is, that tags along with the, the bar's theme or bar's concept. So, we were there uh, for, like, you know, a good couple of hours that night, and uh, we all ended up winning, like, uh, 
a dart set, like our own personal dart set. So this is what it is, Darts Live. The bar is called iDarts Taiwan. If you guys want to look up for more information, you can totally Google it. It's like iPhone, but like iDarts, Taiwan, Taipei. So this is the personal dart set that we won as a group. So, you know, you put it, you build it yourself. So this is the, um, the back wings of it, the fins. And then you have your darts over here. It's pretty cool. I mean, that's something that they give to you for free after you win. And I think it's actually pretty smart because where else are you going to use these? Are you going to actually go out and buy yourself a dartboard? No. I would think that you would probably want to go back to the same bar with your friends and have a good time there again, you know? And then you would bring your own personal set there to play, you know? So this is what it is. Whoops. <laughs> ah! So this is what it is. And um, at the bar, they actually um, they have like a gift section where you can, you know, trick out your your arrows and such, like your darts. Uh, you can buy like customized fins. You can buy um, you know better needles for the head and like certain weights that you can add to, you know, to your darts. So it's it's a cute little themed place in Taiwan. And on top of that, you know, you win the eye darts coaster. So this is really cute. This is like a vinyl rubber which I can totally see myself using. I just haven't used it yet. So this is like a quite thick, heavy duty rubber vinyl coaster that was made by iDarts and you know, you win it. So this is what it is. So that is that. Cause no one was supposed to know